What's up, Collider fans? Lin-Manuel Miranda's hit musical Hamilton is coming to theaters, but not how you might think. Stay tuned. Jeff Snyder here, joined by Mark Riley, and uh, this news coming to us courtesy of the Wall Street Journal, which is saying that multiple studios are bidding on the rights to Hamilton. Bidding is around $50 million, and this would just be, this isn't like for the rights to make a Hamilton movie. This is just the rights to distribute a 2016 live performance of the film into theaters. It wouldn't be like a one-night-only fathom event kind of thing. Okay. You'd be able to see this. This would probably play for weeks. Mm -hmm. um, what, do you what, do you, what, do, what do you think of this? Because you're a fan, right? I'm a fan of the play. I'm a fan of uh, musicals in general, uh, the art of live theater. This is interesting to me. I think it's a huge price tag to $50 million to put up a live, uh, a live show taping, at least, of the play. I'm wondering why they wouldn't go for an adaptation first, but I understand that they could essentially do that down the line. I think this is a interesting move. I don't know I can't. I can't even fathom what the might the box office would be for fifty million dollars. You got to make fifty million plus in box office to make a return at least. I don't know. When you think about all the people in middle America who don't live in New York or L.A. and maybe Correct. don't get the chance to see Hamilton, I think if there's a, a super high demand for this, yeah. I think that a studio could make its money back, um, especially if it's you know if this is for world rights to distribute Hamilton you know around the world. Right. Um, and and uh, like imagine being Netflix and imagine being able to go home tonight and turn on Netflix and be able to watch Hamilton with the original cast of E. Diggs, Lin-Manuel Miranda, etc. Yeah. That to me is worth the 50 million. If Netflix is paying $20 million for a Bruce Springsteen concert right. or $10 million for an Amy Schumer stand-up special, to me, 50 is worth it. Yeah, I think uh, I think you may be right. It's, it's, it's hard to wrap my head around, but I think that the demand is there because this musical has become one of the most popular musicals of our time, maybe even of all time. I've never seen the fans clamoring for this. When I saw it live, the people behind me were singing the entire time. They must have seen it like three times, and this was the third time, which I don't understand because those tickets were so hard to get. They were pretty expensive, but I thought it was worth it. I wanted to see it, but I, I had to turn around and say, hey, can I shoot? Just please, please. Sure. But so this right now, I think there's going to be a demand. If people are seeing this musical for three times, live they're gonna pay money to go see they're gonna pay theaters. 10 15 dollars or whatever it is to a go number see of it. times so and exactly to go in groups to be able to you know they can do sing-along screenings the way fox did with greatest showman there's a lot Th of sing-along that, sing -along that stuff, may yeah. be why fox is, is chasing this one because they sort of proven that they know what to do with the musical right this is obviously a, a real phenomenon mm -hmm. uh, this show um and and what's interesting is like i know that agents in this town have copies on dvd right and they host hamilton parties and, and they watch it in the comfort of their living room and i'm sure at some point, some of them were just like, wait, how is nobody making money off this possibility? Yeah. You know, like, obviously, you know, there's the, a romantic element to live theater, and, and there's no replicating that, even, you know, just taping it uh, on camera and, and, and then showing that on video. But um, I don't know. I, I think that, this, that we're going to see more of this. I think with Hamilton in particular, it makes sense. And yeah. uh, if I was Netflix, I would I would go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Warner Brothers, which is already in business with Lin-Manuel on In the Heights. Right. So I feel like Warner Brothers may have a little inside track with Lin-Manuel since they're doing another movie with him, um, but at the same time could totally see Netflix opening up its wallet. I think uh, you mentioned something about like theater purists and seeing the, the idea of live theater. I think if you're going to transfer it, uh, transfer it, you want to keep it in theaters. You want that big atmosphere. You want big pe the people coming in that might do the sing-alongs if you referred to, but to keep it in a theatrical setting is where I'd want to go because I love the energy of live theater. Seeing it at home, that's fine too. I understand that if Netflix wants to pony up, they're gonna make some money back. They're gonna have the, those downloads right. going crazy. You might even see a, a spike in subscriptions. So I can understand that. But as a purist, I do love my theater. I love my live theater. I would only want to see it on the big screen because I think that's a really fascinating way to do this. Well, the Wall Street Journal wraps up its story by noting that the sellers are, uh, they don't want this uh, Hamilton in theaters or anything like that until 2020 or even 2021. They want yeah. to give the show a couple more years just to, to be seen live on stage. Uh, so, you know, I, I think that that makes a lot of sense too. You know, um, it's still the golden goose. Yes, it you is. Know? Uh, so, so, so why kill that off? Um, yeah, uh, to me, this is interesting. And I like that it's not just a one night fathom event 
performance type thing because I think if there is real demand here, it's tough. To, you know, we only get maybe one or two musicals a year, yeah. if that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that audience needs to be satiated somehow. Absolutely. Guys, let us know what you think in the comments section. Now it's your turn. Remember to like and share this video on social media and subscribe to Collider Video for more videos like this.